Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth video in our series of videos on uh, political developments in Ireland in the 20th century. So today for our learning outcomes what you guys should know by the end of this presentation. First of all you should know what the Parliament Act is. Secondly you should know two responses of the Unionists and two responses of Nationalists to the Home Rule Crisis. And third you should know what the Kerr Mutiny was. We mentioned in the last video how the Liberals came to power in 1906 and they wanted to bring in massive social reform like setting up the welfare state and old age pensions but they kept getting in trouble with Conservatives who ruled the House of Lords. So in 1909 the House of Lords rejected the Liberals budget causing an election to be called in 1910. This was known as the budget crisis. This election caused the home rule crisis. When the votes came in, the Liberals had won 274 seats and the Conservatives and Unionists had won 272 seats and John Redmond's Home Rule Party held the balance with 71 seats. They ha held another election in December of 1910 but it was essentially the same result. Whoever wanted to take uh, power would need Home Rule to form a government and the price of their cooperation was Home Rule. Home Rule had been defeated twice in 1886 and 1893 but this time it was different because Herbert Asquith, the leader of the Liberals, passed a new act called the Parliament Act. The Parliament Act stated that the House of Lords could only reject a bill for two years and then it had to become law. Asquith had gone to King George V and he'd asked him that if the House of Lords rejected this that the King would give peerage to hundreds of Liberals to even out the House of Lords. By that is what I mean is that the King was able to appoint people to the House of Lords so he would appoint hundreds of people into the House of Lords and if there is one thing the House of Lords valued more than their power it was their status and they did not want commoners in the House of Lords. So with the Parliament Act passed, Asquith and the Liberals introduced the third Home Rule Bill in 1912, which meant that in 1914 Ireland would get Home Rule. Remember, Home Rule meant that uh, Ireland would get to handle their own internal affairs, while Britain was still in charge of external affairs. There was immediate opposition from the Unionists. It was mainly centred in the northeast of the country, and it was led by the two men we met before, Carson and Edward Carson and James Craig. They first began to, they had four main strategies that evolved over the following two years. They first began to organize huge demonstrations against Home Rule. So this would be mass meetings uh, to show their demonstration against Home Rule. The second thing they did was on the 28th of September in 1912, over 2,000 men signed a document called the Ulster Solemn League and Covenant stating that they vowed to stop Home Rule coming in by any means necessary. Some men even signed their, own, their, their name in their own blood. Women also signed a separate declaration. A qu quarter of a million women signed this declaration stating their opposition to Home Rule as well. The third thing that the Unionists did to try to prevent Home Rule was to set up something called the Ulster, a military organisation called the Ulster Volunteer Force or the UVF. They had over 100,000 men and these men were trained by former army officers. And the whole purpose of this, this organisation was to prevent Home Rule. However, like any army they needed guns and on the 24th of April 1914 they smuggled in 35,000 guns and 5 million rounds of ammo into a port in Larne here in County Antrim. They distributed them around Northern Ireland with military precision and a little bit of help from the local police as well. So this fourth uh, thing that led to action of unionist opposition is known as the Larne gun running. With the Unionists taking such extreme measures to prevent Home Rule, Nationalists decided that they should act. So in November of 1913, Owen McNeill, a Nationalist who we will be talking about again during our discussion on cultural nationalism in two episodes time, 
wrote an article called The North Began. Um, and in this he said that nationalists should set up their own military organisation to make sure home rule was passed. The Irish Volunteer Force, or IVF, was set up almost immediately. And by the middle of 1914, they had almost 100,000 volunteers themselves. They also smuggled arms into the country in 1914. They smuggled in a much smaller amount, around 900 guns and 250 rounds of ammo. These guns were brought to this area here. Hoth off the coast of Dublin in a ship called the Asgard. No, not that Asgard. This is the ship known as the Asgard. And this whole incident is known as the Hoth Gunnery. So we have two armed military organisations on the island. And we also have the opposition party in Westminster. The Conservatives led by this man here, Andrew Bonner Law, and they're openly calling on the military that they should ignore any orders to fight the Unionists if they rebelled against the introduction of Home Rule. For an opposition party to tell the army to go against the orders of the government is a very provocative move. And sure enough, in 1914, army officers stationed in Ireland said they would resign if they were going to be forced to fight against the Unionists. And this incident is known as the Curra Mutiny. And it showed how out of control the country was at the time. So the third Home Rule Bill had Ireland and Britain on the verge of a civil war. It seemed destined that war would break out. But then something happened that would put all internal issues to one side. In August of 1914, World War One broke out and all talk of civil war was put on the back burner until the threat on Europe, European soil was solved. So that brings us to the end of the presentation. So you should now know what the Parliament Act is. You should know that it is an act that limited the power of the House of Lords. You should know two responses of Unionists, which would include huge demonstrations, the Ulster Salon League and Covenant, the setting up of the UVF, and also the Larne gun running. You should know two uh, responses of the nationalists to the home rule crisis. So the setting up of the IVF or the Irish Volunteer Force and the Hoth gun running. You should also know what the Curra mutiny is, which is when officers stationed in Ireland said that they would not fight against unionists. Hope you got something useful from the video and thanks for watching.